Do you remember we reported on the Cleveland's trainee police constable who rubbed his pecker up against a female trainee and said inappropriate things to them? Well, his misconduct hearing has now concluded and he has been named. Christopher Mallam was just six weeks into his training with Cleveland police when three female trainees reported him for sexist, sexual comments and misogynistic comments. Mallam faced a total of 16 allegations of inappropriate behaviour towards the female students. The misconduct panel has found that 14 of the 16 allegations were proven, including the most serious allegation that he pressed himself against a female student during a training exercise. And on Friday gone, it was deemed that he should be dismissed without notice. Nick Hawkins, who chaired the panel, said female officers have the right to work in an environment that is not misogynistic. Hawkins also lifted the order granting Malam anonymity and ruled that his name could now be reported. Inviting the panel to dismiss Malam, Stephen Morley, representing the prosecution authority, said the poor behaviour towards women uncovered in other forces is a matter of national concern at the moment, sadly. The panel said that they believed allegations by one female officer, Witness B, that Malam had talked about her going home to use a vibrator and said he liked to be woken up by a sex act blowjob. They found, in it, they found an allegation by a third Witness C that he commented about her having sticky fingers was also proved. Malam denied all the allegations and said the three women had launched a campaign of falsehoods against him. He denied some of the incidents altogether and said some of his comments had been misconstrued and were meant to be jokey. Well, Malin, some of your now previous colleagues could probably take a note from this outcome, that there is a time and a place. And although I do believe that some of his comments probably were a misguided attempt to fit in and have some fun, when you're a police constable, you certainly shouldn't be going around touching people, colleagues or the public, and joking about being sexual with them. At least that's one less sex pest in the police force as Another one bites the dust.